Hello and welcome to our channel. Did you know that the stock market visuals you see every day could be misleading you? Behind the scenes, a hidden technology known as the green screen is being used to manipulate how you see stock movements. But how does it work and what impact could it be having on your investments? Let's dive in. Imagine watching the stock market ticker filled with flashing red and green indicators. Without realizing it, your brain automatically starts interpreting those colors as gains and losses. But here's the catch. These visualizations can be manipulated to influence how you feel about the market, often amplifying fear or greed. In this video, I'll break down exactly what the stock market green screen is and how it's used to craft a specific narrative around the financial markets. As someone who's spent years analyzing the market and creating content for thousands of viewers like you, I've seen how visuals are designed to pull in emotional responses. In fact, I've uncovered how major financial institutions use green screen tech to shape what we think about stocks, pushing us to buy or sell based on visual cues rather than actual data. Stay with me until the end of this video and I'll reveal actionable tips on how to cut through these visual tricks and make smarter, data-driven investment choices. The stock market green screen is more than just a metaphor. It's a digital overlay often used on TV and online platforms that visually represents stock movements. This visual is manipulated in real time to exaggerate certain market trends, creating a heightened emotional response. For example, a green screen can make an average stock increase look monumental, encouraging retail investors to jump in, while subtle red indicators can amplify panic selling. Think about the visuals you see on financial news channels. The charts, the arrows, the big green gains, it all feels urgent and compelling. But are these visuals always accurate representations of the market? No. They're carefully designed to guide your emotional reaction. Let's talk psychology for a moment. Human brains are wired to associate certain colors with specific emotions. Green, for example, is tied to feelings of growth, positivity, and success, while red triggers fear, loss, and failure. When financial media broadcasts a green-heavy screen after a slight stock bump, your brain starts interpreting the entire market as bullish, even if the data doesn't support that. A study by behavioral economists found that investors are 30% more likely to make impulsive buys when watching positive stock visuals. It's an emotional response triggered by the green visuals, not the actual market conditions. Here is an example. During Bitcoin's massive surge, financial networks would often show green screens, emphasizing the climb even when volatility was rampant. This led many retail investors to FOMO in at peak prices, only to watch the value drop days later. But the green visuals were still there, subtly nudging optimism. Here is another example. Even during the early stages of the 2008 crisis, financial news outlets downplayed the negative data by using green-heavy stock screens, trying to create optimism where there was little. It wasn't until the collapse that the screens turned red, and by then, the damage was done. Now that you know how these visuals can affect your decision-making, it's time to focus on ways to avoid falling into the green screen trap. First, always compare visual representations with raw data. Look at stock fundamentals, company reports, and independent analysis tools like TradingView. These won't have the same emotional cues designed to sway your thinking. Here is tip one. When you're watching financial news, turn off the visuals for a moment and focus on the verbal analysis. Are they aligning the message with the visuals or is there a disconnect? Another trick is to use use third-party analysis tools that don't emphasize the same color schemes. Tools like Google Finance or Yahoo Finance tend to use neutral colors for better clarity and less emotional impact. Does this change how you think about stock visuals? Let me know in the comments below. And if this information is useful, 
don't forget to like this video and share it with others who might benefit. Behind every financial news channel is a strategy. Large financial institutions often influence these narratives to suit their own market goals. For example, they might push positive visuals when they need retail investors to pump liquidity into a stock they want to offload. By creating a green heavy stock narrative, they induce buying behavior, then quietly sell off while retail investors rush in. During Tesla's meteoric rise in early 2021, many financial networks exaggerated the stock's gains using bright green screens to pump up investor sentiment. Meanwhile, large institutional investors were quietly trimming their positions, leaving many retail investors exposed to the coming correction. You now have the inside scoop on how stock market visuals are designed to manipulate your investment decisions. But with this knowledge, you can take control of your emotions and make smarter choices based on data, not visual trickery. Next time you watch stock news, be critical of what you're seeing. Is the data backing up the visuals? If not, you might be looking at a green screen designed to trick you into making rash decisions. By sticking to the fundamentals, you'll ensure you're always in control of your financial future. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with someone who needs to hear this. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insights like this. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out on critical financial tips that could save you money.